Team Alpha UL, we're back again and it's the first video after Eid. All right, first job. We've got a 2000 and what is this now? Uh, right. We've got a 2008. We've got a 2008 Kia C apostrophe D or Kia Seed, to be honest with you. In the famous word of Jeremy Clarkson, C apostrophe D. Right, we're going to change rear brake pads, brake disc or brake pads and brake rotors. It's here, let's go. This is a tricky one. So you guys out there, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is the, I think the easy way, if everything comes off. And the other one is, I would say, depends. It, I'll let you guys decide. Leave it in the comment section, which one you think is the hardest way to do it. I think the first way is the harder way. And the second way is the easy way, right? So come on, let's go. All right, guys, there it is. I've took the wheel off. So like I mentioned, before any videos if you can't take a wheel off please don't attempt this because the basics of mechanics is you should be able to take the wheel off okay first thing we're going to do is handbrake off make sure the handbrake's off we're going to try to take this screw off and this screw off because they hold the disc or the rotor if you want to call it in place we're going to take these two off if we can't take them off with a screwdriver we'll have to chisel them off but we have to take these two off no matter what okay then we'll go what we're going to do is we're going to take this rubber thing off here this rubber grommet rubber cover whatever take that off obviously i will take that off when i've got it on properly take that off like that and you need to find the adjuster the brake handbrake adjuster which is i would say there so on if you look at it there it's facing right down six o'clock kind of thing yeah but you could say bang on six o'clock the adjuster's there so just adjust it all right so there's the adjuster in there you can just make it out there that little notch kind of thing there right there so it's down i'm in the uk here so the passenger side one on the rear is down go down to loosen it up tighten it the driver side one might be the opposite right so basically i've slackened it you can see that's all freestyling what i'm gonna do now is try taking these two off yeah and uh, hopefully we'll go to the caliper next so this is method one basically method two is exactly the same we have to do the same thing on method two exactly the same but the difference is the caliper side so basically method one and method two the same right guys i'm going to be real with you guys because some youtubers out there you'll see oh i've took this off dead easy you know dead easy no no sweat these were absolutely rock solid okay as you can see there's a little indentation there i had to get a chisel on it and batter them basically so basically you need a flat chisel hammer batter them if they're really hard i mean if they come off then happy days uh, but this one i have to batter them and take them off that way so basically take these two off and then we'll move on to the caliper okay guys the next job what we're going to do is we're going to take the caliper bolts off basically this one here i've already cracked it take this one off and take this one off okay so basically take that off 14 milli it could be a 13 mil if somebody's modified it or a 12 mil but on mine it's a 14 mil so bear that in mind if you're going to do it attempt it outside your house have the 12 mil 13 mil and a 14 mil spanner to hand yeah so what we're gonna do now is after we've done that basically take this caliper off yep take the pads off we're gonna replace the pads we're gonna replace the pads anyway so if you want to just batter them off or whatever there we go we're gonna replace the disc as well so that doesn't really matter as well right pads are off now we're gonna to have to take this bracket off this caliper bracket will need to come off so yeah, I'll tell you what to do. Okay guys, the tricky bit is taking the, this bolt off, which is no problem, 14 mil, take that off. I've already cracked it. They weren't that tight anyway, strong arm, get that off, happy day. The other one that holds this bracket together, as you can see there, I've took it off. This one bolt off, but it won't come off. The other one is in here, okay? So this is the tricky bit. This is what, what I said, method one, method two. Method one, is basically you get a spanner 
Hey guys, to take this bolt off method one type, yeah, what we need to do is we need to use, if it comes off with a normal spanner, if you're strong enough and it comes off, happy days, all good. But nine times out of 10, it is really tight. So what you need to do is you need to get one spanner on it, 14 mil, and then you need to get the other spanner on it, on it and interlock it like that, yeah? But be careful, if you slip, this spanner goes into there, then you die, yeah? So that's called the death, death spanner, okay? So that's why they call it the death spanner. So yeah, so that, what you do is be careful, and then all you do is, there we go, tighten it up. But like I mentioned, be careful. And to take it off, it's still the other yeah. one. But bear in mind, this bolt was tight. I had to get two spanners on it, like a, like a dead spanner, spanner of death kind of thing, and then crack it off, yeah? If you want to, you could do it that way, yeah? Which I think is, is headache. Right, because people out there, you won't be able to use two spanners, you know, link one spanner onto the other and then crack it, it'll be very hard. What you could do, which I recommend you do, and if it comes off, it's, it makes your job really, really easier, right, is take this one off. Take this bolt off, just this bolt off. So, nut and bolt, basically. Take that off, right? This arm will swing down a little bit, right? and you can get a strong arm on there, a wrench, socket, 14 mil, just crack that off, whiz that off, gun, whatever and the whole thing comes straight off. So what I'm gonna do is, obviously I've done it, I've tried to, well, I've cracked it the other way, so I could go ahead and carry and take it off this way, you know, like that. Right, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that off as well. Right, show you guys that taking it off that, that way is easier. Okay guys, as you can see here, this bolt is half off. I will be lying to you if I said this bolt wasn't tight. So basically this bolt was tight, same as the other bolt as well, tight as well, right? both tight, but I would prefer it this way because that way you can, when you get to the caliper bolt, the bracket bolt, you can basically get a, a socket on there and you know, take it off easy. So basically, we've got a spanner 17 on this side, 17 milli socket on this side, and take that straight off. Wasn't supposed to fall off like that. Obviously, I would have the other hand on there, but obviously, I've got the camera on the other hand. So, yeah, spanner's fallen off with the nut. And uh, yeah, just take this one off. And hopefully, we can get to that bolt behind there. Right, guys, bolt is off. So, if we pull that down, you can see there, you can get to that bolt dead easy. There we go. You can get a ratchet in there, a strong arm in there, basically, take that off. No problem. Right, that's what I'm going to do now. Take that bolt off. There we have it guys. One caliper bracket off. The disc is there. All we do now is give that little tap. That disc should come off. Replace it with the new one. Let's go. Home stretch. Right, next job obviously we have to compress the piston back. The caliper piston back. So get yourself some big dogs or a brake wind back tool. Use the brake pad itself and push it, just push it back. It's a good idea to release the uh, brake fluid reservoir uh, cap as well at this, uh, you know, before you start the job. So when you're pressing this back, it's not pressurizing. And hopefully press that back. As you can see there, we've got the disc everything off. Clean everything up. Put the new disc on. Happy days. Okay guys, I've got the new disc on here. As with all new discs, right, most of them, nine times out of 10, they have a protective film kind of thing on it, like an oil film kind of thing on it, uh, just to you know keep it from rotting away and rusting away while it's in storage. So what you do is get some brake cleaner, give it a thorough clean, some tissue, brake cleaner, clean that out. Uh, after you've done that, obviously, put these back on. After we've got them two on, before we put the caliper bracket on and the brakes on and everything, it's a good idea. What you could do is, because it's all nice and free now, the adjuster's right there, adjust it up. So that way you've got no resistance there, you know, of the brake caliper, brake pads or anything. And you can just adjust it up nice and freely. And yeah, then after that, we go fit in the brake pads, brake uh, caliper bracket, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, caliper itself. But first things first, let's adjust this up. So as you remember, on the passenger side, I'm doing the passenger side and I'm in the UK rear. It was down to slacken, so I'm gonna go up to tighten it up. 
yeah let's go let's do it now another thing guys is when you're doing the pads or the disc or whatever you're doing when you're replacing the pads especially when you're replacing the pads make sure the sliders are free because if you fit the pads with the sticky sliders like these you're gonna have imbalance brake the, the car might pull to a direction or it's gonna be rubbish basically the brakes are gonna be rubbish so make sure you have them absolutely nice and free get the gun on it like you said that's cracked now and then basically it's loose so we'll get the gun on it 17 milli uh, socket whiz it off whiz it back on put some oil on it grease on it and then yeah uh, refit it again uh, as you can see that brake pad is really tight to go on the reason being is two things right whoever's painted this caliper obviously they put another layer of paint on it another coat of paint on it that's uh, taking up about a half a millimeter plus it's got powder coating on the brake pads that's taking up a little bit more as well so what we need to do is give it a little filing on the edges of the brake pad not too much and then obviously uh, that pad will go nice uh, nice and free and it'll go in nice and easy okay guys we've got the pads on as you can see they're nice and free we want it to be nice and free don't go battering them on and the night uh, you know they're properly solid and everything so what you do nice and free so we've got them on what we do is put the caliper back on i'll need two hands to do this because i can't hold the camera and do this on. give me a minute right guys we've got everything back on here now the brake disc is back on the rotor is back on the calipers back on pads are back on caliper brackets back on everything tight we've got one more thing to put back on which is the arm the wishbone arm the rear arm last but not least do not forget that because you might think well i've done the job put the wheel back on if you have done it this way make sure you put this one back on else you're going to be in big trouble anyway let's go let's do this right guys that's it that's how we replace the rear brake pads and brake discs on a 2008 Kia C apostrophe D or Kia Seed is Kia Seed, not Kia well, apostrophe D. Right, Kia Seed. Make sure when we've done it and everything, tighten the wheels up on the floor. Uh, double check it with the gun and everything. No, do it with the gun and then double check it on the floor. Make sure you pump the brakes up. Pump the brakes up a good 10, 10, 15 times. Get it nice, pressurized and everything. Then take it for a drive. Don't go, just take it for a drive and then you hit the brakes first time around, no brakes. Right, we don't want that. If you're doing it on the floor, make sure you jack it up, put a block on the front then uh, put some axle stands on it make sure it's safe last thing you want is a car falling on you and yeah anyway guys like share and subscribe to my channel hit that bell button leave a comment in the comment section let's go raul tv we're